Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a product video at home like this. video for Travis Scott's cacti hard seltzer before in the past and cacti actually ended up reposting that on their story and I couldn't have done that without the help from you. I created the product video at home, low budget, no budget at all actually. Uh, it was just right here in my living room and it was a huge win for us. So we're going to try to do the same thing today with Post Malone's Rosé Maison. Number nine. Now our first shot out of the gate is this shot right here. It's gonna be inspired by Post Malone's album, Hollywood's Bleeding. So I'm going to basically do this to it and then insert the bottle in the arch. We have to cut an exacto hole out of this and make it look like that. And I actually also bought a mini sword to put in the back because that's what is on the bottle is a sword and that's what's on the album cover is a sword. Now, before I get into any of this today, if you do find this helpful, fun, or you're just kind of astonished on how we do this all at home in our living room, please demolish that thumbs up button down below and hit that subscribe button. It helps out my channel immensely and I'm trying to come out with content like this in the future. But enough of the chit chat, let's just jump right in and make this have a hole in it. So the poster's cut out. It's a little sloppy around. I wouldn't say the X-Acto knife got it exactly how I want it. I could fix that in post, post Malone. But yeah, I could fix it in post, so not a big deal. Uh, the fact that we have the archway actually doesn't look bad from here. So, but when I see it in person, and luckily on the album cover, it is a little messy around the edges. So if you already saw it, I haven't seen it yet at this point. I'm super excited to see the finished result. And it's just gonna all come together. But unfortunately we can't shoot that part tonight. So I'm thinking tomorrow or Sunday, we're going to knock that out. I just wanted to get that out of the way. So I guess I'll just pick this up on Friday or Saturday or even Sunday. All right, so we have our set built. Uh, we have our Canon EOS R with our IRIC Cine lens, and then we have our Field World monitor on top, and then we're going to push this forward toward the set we built. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm not sure how well this is going to look. I ran into a couple issues with this shot. First off, my fingerprints kept getting on the bottle and also it was off center a couple times. And then overall, I just ran into a big problem here. Well, as I've done this shot or tried to do this shot and haven't shot anything for the past almost hour because this looks like garbage. I hate it. Who knows? It might work later in post. I shot one thing and one thing only in the past hour. So far, I hate it. So. We're off to a bad start this time. Everything can't always go smoothly though. We're gonna keep rolling with the shots. You know, from here you think, oh, you know, that might work well, except the wall over here and over there. But in camera here, it just looks like garbage. After a few minor adjustments, the raw shot looked like this and the final looked like this. I love this beam of light that's coming with this new attachment. So I got my camera down here. Um, we have our Cinebloom filter on there and it kind of just gives this nice haze to the light beam. So we're gonna put that shooting up. It's just gonna look like this. This is one of my favorite shots and color graded, it looks incredible. If you do not have a rotating table, I highly recommend one. All right, so next shot, I'm going to put my probe lens onto my Canon EOS R and then take the slider and move it along the bottle with the grapes on the side and the vine in the back. This shot was going a couple different ways. I didn't want to do this completely, so I masked out the sword and made it look like this in the end. Another shot we're about to get is just a close-up of the wine and grapes together. I love the way this looks. Um, and then after that is our next shot where we're going to take the bottle. I'm gonna take the bottle on the empty side and turn it with my hand and then replace the logo on the bottle. I think this might work. This is gonna be one of my harder videos. I just, 
I'm praying it all comes together nicely. All right, switch to my phone. The next shot, like I said, is we're gonna turn my hand since there's no logo right here. Um, and we're gonna replace the logo or the sword onto the bottle. One of the harder shots to master was this shot right here because there is no logo on the bottle and then pixelating it in like this took a long time in post. So that is a wrap for tonight because I need to get to bed because I gotta be to work early. So maybe we'll pick this up tomorrow. If not, then Wednesday. And if not, then Thursday. I'm happy with the footage. I just, I wanna go review it on my laptop and see what's possible and see what we need to correct. If we need to correct anything. And then we'll pick up this on, let's shoot for Wednesday. All right, so it's currently Wednesday night. The past couple days, I actually reviewed some of the footage we shot previous, and some of them I don't like at all, and they don't fit the storyline. You gotta correct those errors before you actually just put it all together, because I'd be pissed if I thought I had all these shots down, and then it just didn't work. Good thing I checked those out. A lot of the shots do work, though, which is nice. Now, the shot that we're going for is just a normal shot, kind of like this, how I'm doing right now, uh, with the glass. And hopefully the bottle will be blurred out with our cine lens, uh, with the depth of field. So, without further ado, let's check out this shot. As you can see, I used my archway to block out my reflection in the glass. So the raw looked like this with the barrel, and then I decided to move the barrel after to get this shot and blend them together. Overall, really pleased with how that shot came out. Now we're gonna move on to our next one, which I think I have a few ideas what it's going to be. I wanna get the product, which the wine bottle, when I say product, uh, on a rotating display before I pour anything or anything in that nature. So let's do that now. Another great use for the rotating table. I used a couple coasters to prop up the bottle to get this shot looking up. And then the final edit looks like this. Then you bring the camera down so it's a stagnant shot. And then you get the final raw product like this. And then color graded it in post looks like this. All right, now is the ultimate test where I'm mixing a little bit of cranberry juice in with some water to match the color of this. I feel like a mad scientist, uh, but we're going to keep mixing and stirring. It's not the perfect color yet. So uh, here's a little time lapse. Pretty even, it seems to be. I don't, I guess. So what we're gonna do now is pour it into the wine glass and see how it looks on cam. So I ran into a big issue here and you'll see me pull back after a second because I was spilling the water everywhere. End result is I have to go full send when I do this again. Got water all over the floor, but I think that might work. After cleaning up my spill and going full send this time, all the water right into it, the final shot looked like this, color graded looks like this. Then what we did since our water was already in there, we did our drip shot, which looked like this. And again, color graded looks like this. And our last shot here was the final pour, which the raw looks like this. And you know it, color graded like this. As I finish this edit of this entire video, I realized I didn't shoot an ending. So good job, Griff. So here it is. If you did enjoy this video at all, the slightest bit, the smallest amount, please demolish that thumbs up button down below and hit that subscribe button. It helps out my channel immensely. Now quick update, Post Malone, Maison number nine did not repost the video at all, but who knows? We still have the behind the scenes video coming out, so they might see it. They might repost it after that. So fingers crossed. And if you are watching this, please go tag them on my Instagram. That also helps out a huge amount. As always, thanks again for watching, and I will definitely see you in the next video.